Hey, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's been a while that I accessed my server, but today when I log on to my TrueNAS server, I noticed that one of the devices has been degraded and removed from the system. Uh, as you can see it here in my notifications. Um, so uptime 29 dates, and this one happens on the 12th, October 12, 2021. So it's almost like a month. Uh, but luckily, all of my pools are using mirror VDEFs. Um, as you can see, one of them is degraded. I need to replace this one. Uh, and this one also a mirror VDEFs for my personal pool. And the media pool is basically a splitting VDEFs using two VDEFs and two physical hard drive. If one of these things die, uh, I would lose the media pool, but that's okay. I can replace the media pool. That's not a problem, but I need to fix this one. So I said it to myself today that I now is a good time to do a server maintenance uh, before the winter comes. So let's get my hand dirty and get down to business and pull out my server and get the hard drive replaced. Okay, so let's get my hand dirty here. So what I did was I shut down my server from... Uh, the dashboard and then in order to access my physical server so I already put out the um, power cable so to in order to pull it out it's kind of bulky and heavy ew so dirty so I don't know which drive that I'm supposed to pull out so because uh, as, as I said one terabyte hard drive but you gotta figure out which one so what about the front drive? What about the front panel drive? Oh, this one empty. Oh, this one empty. Uh, there you go. Oh, this is the Iron Wolf. So these drive, I know for sure they are okay. So let's put it back then. So, okay, put this one out. Okay, so this one is also Iron Wolf. So I might have to um, uh, clean out all these dust, probably vacuum all these dust. So not these drives, so it belong into one of these. Uh... I unplug the cable from the back and pull out the drive, pull out the drive to the front. There you go, one terabyte Seagate. Either this one and another drive that also use one terabyte. So I know which one to remove. So this is the Samsung model of one terabyte with the serial number so there you go I remember uh, the serial number for this hard drive uh, from the recording so I know that this one is still good and actually this hard drive from uh, Seagate is dying so this one is really long time ago it's probably about 10 years old for this drive so I have a replacement drive it's also one terabyte from Seagate and uh, I'm gonna use this one uh, to replace this one so this one is so this one is really dying so I, I'm gonna replace it and put it back the way it's supposed to be so so this one on top there you go and and this one it's a matter of removing these screw and put it in there. So give me a minute. So when I put a new drive in there, it's a matter of resilvering process to uh, populate all these data from the other drive into this one because I use mirror VDAF. So 
So after this one, I'm probably gonna do some vacuuming. I'm gonna suck all the, I'm gonna clean out all the dust. So all the dead drive got removed. I think this is the paperweight uh, hard drive. That one. Go back with this. I've been using this server for like a couple of years now. It never gave me any issue with uh, dual Xeon 2667 V2 processor. It's quite decent uh, CPU for my UKs. All right, I'm done. Now let's put it back. I think I label one, two, three, and four. All these cable has a uh, has a letter. It has a label to uh, remember where to put them. So, but I don't think that matters. All right, everything in perfectly fine. So, okay, I think I'm gonna get uh, the vacuum to clean out all these dust. It's pretty dirty. A lot of dust, no good for your server. It's get hot. Okay, so I'm gonna get my uh, vacuum. So make sure you don't touch this one onto your system, okay? Because you might fry the circuit in, in there. So use a plastic uh, nozzle or something like this. You can suck it. So So as soon as I apply the power, the server will turn on by itself, just like how I set it up, just in case uh, I lose the power, and the server will automatically start it when the power is back on. Okay, now my server is working. All right, close it. I uh, physically replaced the uh, damaged drive with the uh, new one and uh, it's a matter of going back to TrueNAS dashboard here to replace it. Okay, go back to TrueNAS, lock in. Okay, so let's open it up so bigger. Still got one drive in here degraded. So let's go and find out the disk. Okay, as you see, that's the disk that I did put it in. So now to make sure that I wipe it, I wipe it clean. All right, so wiping the disc, I don't know how long that would take, but uh, hopefully it will be done pretty quickly. Okay, done. So now we need to replace the old one with this new one, okay? So let's go to, uh, go out here, it's maybe easier. So I click here, remove, 
uh, click on post status and it's removed hit replace and we're just gonna replace with a new one okay the da3 and then replace this okay formatting the disk so hopefully in i don't know a couple of minutes or something this one will be replacing with a new disk successfully replaced this okay I've close it and now we need to refresh it and see what happened so i think the uh true nas is automatically receiver uh, the, the process is automatically uh, doing that. You see here, receivering. So time remaining. Wow, look at that. 800 days, 700 days. That's a while. Um, maybe this one is not true, but we'll see. All right, the silvering process taking place and uh, look like it's going to be about seven hours to get it done. Uh, six, five hours. Well, it's pretty fast. We'll see. The new disk, probably uh, the CMR technology as well, because all Seagate one terabyte is made with CMR technology, which is the uh, conventional magnetic recording uh, technology. I think that is going to be okay. It's only 1%, so three hours, that's not bad to receive all the data uh, across the uh, multiple physical drive. Okay, so I'm going to come back later on and hopefully this one is uh, good. And uh, by the time I be finished uh, replacing my um, unhealthy because it's working. By the time I get this one updated with uh, the new drive, I'm going to update my system to the latest uh, true NAS. Okay, so that's it for today. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, give it a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, uh, bye for now. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.